Hi guys and uh, welcome back to another video and um, thank you for bearing with me while I have been creating the video for this. Uh, it's just been busy with a bit work and stuff like that so uh, not had a chance to do a lot of uh, coding and making new content but what I have done is in between I have been working on a new quick app and this one is all to do with climate. I have been working on it for a while to be honest um, it's just that with work I've just been working in between so I thought let's get it out now and ready for the winter season when it comes in in a few months time so um, without further ado let's crack on with it so what's the climate? Right, here's a climate uh, quick app. So it's in my shop again, as usual. It's priced at five pounds. And all you do is when you click on it, you can then go through and buy it and it's a digital download. Okay, and it's just a climate change a quick app. And what you can do is set the time and temperature of your different thermostats using your home center three uh, on your phone without having to log into your PC. And um, the link for the video will also be here as soon as I finish making it. Um, why do we need this? Well, if you go, if we go back now to our home center, and we go onto the climate panel. So here's our climate panel, which I went through a while back. Uh, how you can add your thermostats in, and then you can click on here, and then change all the timings and your scheduling, etc., to suit your needs but sometimes uh, those needs change. When it changes, uh, when you log in on your mobile, you can actually do what we call a temporary amendment. So for example, it's Monday, well say it's, it's Tuesday right now and it's 11, 10 past 11, right, current time. So this is set at 11.15 to change to 22 degrees. Uh, okay it's warm or i'm feeling cold and i need a bit more heat uh in here so i want it 23 and um, what you can do you go onto your phone click on the climate find your downstairs thermostat and just put it up to 23 24 whatever it is the only problem with that is it's a temporary fix and it'll be that is perfect if that's all you need however if it's going to be a permanent change then the only way to do that permanent change is to log into your home center on a browser and making make those changes permanent by going through here and adjusting it like this there and hitting on week or working days or whichever way you want to do it and hitting copy and then that'll adjust it through to all the different times etc so what i've been working on is another the way to do this um, quickly and easily and on your mobile phone so let's get to it. So let me leave that, uh, uh, don't save. So let me leave that here. So those are my thermostats that I've got in my house. Let's click on climate panel. Oh, let's get rid of that one now. Let's go on to devices. And I'm gonna scroll down to my climate. Okay, so click on there and there. So here's my climate panel, which I've created. So here you can see the buttons, uh, all my uh, downstairs, upstairs, cinema stats, etc. They're all here. And I've created this as a 10 zone. So it should cater for a majority of people. And then here, so top label tells you which thermostat you currently is active. Then you've got the days of the week here and it tells you which day is currently active. There's this copy week function. Now, in order to use copy week, it does exactly what it says. And that means you can copy the whole week from one of the days. Now, in order to use the copy week function, you've got to make sure you select Monday. If you select Monday, set your times based on the Monday and then hit copy week and it will actually copy it to all your um, rest of the days. Now here, um, the morning temperatures, day temperatures, evening temperatures, and night temperatures. So these, time and temp, sorry. So these match exactly, exactly here. So morning, day, evening, 
and then night takes you through to the bottom there so you can see the different uh, let's do it on this one because you can see it easier so morning is this yellow patch uh, daytime is the green patch evening is this yellow patch and night is the blue patch so that's what um, we talk about the morning day evening and night and of course the temperatures is here so morning 23 20 22 and then 15 so if we go to upstairs stat let's go back to devices so upstairs stat we've got to give it around about 10 seconds for it to do the updates and run the background code once i've done that i can't there's a something a bug which i can't fix at the moment you just have to click on another day to pull the temperatures through and there we have our different temperatures so we have 23 20 22 and 15 and then these are the different times of days that were set for the temperatures so if you want to check that so i've just pulled in upstairs stat so morning eight o'clock 23 nine o'clock 20 so let's go back on to climate so 8 23 9 20 so 8, 23, 9 to 20, and then we've got uh, 7, 40, no, that's 7, 30, 7, 45, round here is it goes 7, 30, 7, 40, no, 7, sorry, 8, 8, 15, 8, 15 is 22, and 10, 30 is 15, so 8, 15, 22, and 10, 30 is 15, Eight fifteen twenty two and ten thirty is fifteen. So what it does is when you click on any of these, it actually pulls the data from your climate panel and populates it. That's why we have to wait around ten seconds and then click on one of these buttons to update it. Okay. So I look on Tuesday, it's the same. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, Saturday is different and Sunday is different. So those are what we've set, okay? And of course, we've got the update button. So here we've got, it, sorry, we've got times, up and down times there, and up and down temps from there. And then update button, this is exactly what that is. It actually updates everything. Prerequisites, variables. Now this part is what you're gonna have to go through and fill in. You only need to fill in a few sections first of all IP address the IP address of your home center so just click on the pencil icon and like this so and fill in the IP address of your home center just like that you can get that from the browser window or if you know what you set it as when you set it up zone 1 zone 2 up to zone 10 now these are the ID numbers of your of your thermostats the two zones I'm not using, 9 and 10, I've just labelled them as 8, 800, which is the ID of my climate panel, uh, which is why it just says climate V2 on the boxes. And if I scroll up, you've got kitchen stat 791, backroom stat 795, home stat 796, and which I've just filled in 791, 795 and 796, being my 8th. And then I've got my other stats up here. And all I've done is just taken these numbers and added them to here. What it does is then the home center then pulls the data automatically um, for here. One thing you will have to do manually, I'm afraid, is set the partition IDs because we don't know what partition it's going to be set on. So I will show you where to get that data from. Then all this code here, you leave alone. And then one last thing you need to do is set the password. Now, if you scroll all the way down, here is the password. So you just click on the pencil icon and fill that details here. You've got to use the these um, base64 encoding. I will put a link for you in the in the braille, in the uh, description. And again, I'll show you how to use that. So if you give me one second. So you click on the base 64 put in here say if your username was admin and password was admin 
you then click on encode and then that is your password here okay but make sure you've got to um, make sure you write the word basic space and then your password so you would write so what you would do is write basic space space and then you would copy and paste that into here okay so whatever it is into there okay and that's how you would do it let me cancel that because i don't want to wipe my own once you've done all that you then hit the save button and that's it once it's all populated um go back to the climate panel these are your id numbers so downstairs stat is nine upstairs stat is ten cinema 11 and so forth so these are where you get your partition id numbers from here so that's what you would do and make a note of these and write these down then make a note of how you've written these in for zone one zone two three four five six seven eight nine and ten you then have to click on the edit button click on zone names so if you can't see the zone names here at the top right hand corner just click on this icon here for the files and find zone names and double click on it and it will uh, come up to here okay and then all we do is zone one was downstairs and then you put the nine in here zone two put the partition id numbers in there this is important because without this it will not update because it uses partition id numbers to update and just fill out the details here as you can see so you make a note of these for nine and ten which for me are empty i've just left them as zero so nothing will happen all right once you've done that you hit the save button and that's all that's the only thing you need to do inside the code by the way there's nothing else that needs to be done okay right prerequisites done now all we do is once you click on a thermostat data gets pulled so let's go to monday and we've got eight o'clock set so let's change that to say 7 45 uh, let's change that to half past eight. No, let's change that to half past seven, half past eight. Um, let's change that to say nine o'clock, and leave that for ten thirty. Um, and we just adjust the temperatures. Say let's do eighteen, and let's change that to twenty-one. Let's do that to twenty-one. So those are the temps I've set for Monday. Now, if I click on Tuesday, it's still got the old ones. Wednesday saturday but what i want to do is i want to copy it all for the week so i'll just click on monday again i like that and hit the copy week that's it a couple of seconds later if i click on wednesday saturday sunday it all changed to this temps now let's just give ourselves a reminder on upstairs stat so remember it was eight o'clock nine o'clock 8.15 and 10.30 so what I'm going to do now go into devices go back to climate I'm now going to hit the update button that's updating now give it a few seconds to update now I'm going to go back onto the climate panel and now as you can see we've got temperature change this used to be 20 it's now 18 and it's set to, if you want to double check what time it is, just do that. So 7.30 goes to 21, 8.30 goes to 18, 9 o'clock goes to 21, and 10.30 goes to 15, which we didn't change. And if you look all the way through for the whole seven days, it's exactly the same. Remember previously it was set to Saturday, Sunday was different. So that's how easy it is. To use now I've done this on my desktop because it was easy to show you um, rather than getting my camera out but this is designed to be done on your phone so use this app on your phone 
On a PC, to be honest, you don't really need to use it as you can just come over to this panel and make all your changes. But when you're on the go and you need to make changes, best way, best way of doing it is just use this. So there you have it, people. Um, that's how you use it. And that's hopefully will make life a lot easier for people who are on the go and they don't want to keep logging in and they can make changes straight away and adjust everything manually themselves. Um, thank you for watching. Um, any questions or queries, please feel free to put it in the comment section or if you want additional support, just don't forget to go to my uh, Facebook page. Um, from there it's a bit more interactive and, um, and it's available to purchase in the shop for a fiver. Thank you and um, bye for now.